Will ban make my React Native apps faster? So in this video, we're just gonna find out. We're gonna look into ban, how it works, and how does it do its magic, and we're gonna just analyze how do React Native apps work. But in summary, ban is a runtime environment for all JavaScript apps. It can be JavaScript, it can be TypeScript. So the way it works is that it utilizes something which is called the JavaScript core engine. So you must remember that we normally run our apps using the V8 engine, Chrome, Chrome's V8 engine. So, so it, in essence, it uses a completely different engine to implement the JavaScript logic. Uh, it replaces Node. If you use a node, it replaces uh, like um, Dino as well. So it's way faster than both of those when compared to different tasks, whether it's server side, rendering, looking at huge loads and like speed, like uh, if you look at hashes. So the way it's able to do this is because it's written the, in a low level language called uh, called Zig and it's built with memory in mind so it's like in summary it's maybe faster than uh, like the the normal runtime that we're using for, for JavaScript so a React Native app we all know that with a React Native app you're essentially writing JavaScript code whether you use, you're using TypeScript or not you still JavaScript code so so when you write an app, you're typing all your app, like all your logic in your, for your app. So what happens is that you're gonna talk about the concept of a compiler. So we starting with going towards now like the React Native app. So there's this thing which is called a compiler. So the compiler, in essence, it changes the 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 code that you write into code that's being that can be understood by a computer. So so you write the code that you, you you code your app and then you write comments there, you put logic. So what happens is that that code is actually passed by this program which is called a compiler. It converts it to a code which is called the AST, which is the abstract syntax tree. So what it does is that it simply looks at your code, removes all the white spaces in there it removes the comments and as a good React Native developer, I'm sure you put a lot of comments in there so that the next person can understand what the hell you wrote or when you come back a week later, you can understand your code. So it removes all of that and then it converts all that code into lower level representation called bytecode. If you know about Java, we know that it tries it, the code that it writes compares to bytecode. So even here, uh, Kotlin as well, even here, it turns all that code into low level representation, which is bytecode. And then what happens is that that bytecode is then fed into another program called a runtime. It evaluates it and gets a result. That's where BAN comes in. Because BAN is a JavaScript runtime engine. So we currently it's like you replacing your current V8 and uh, engine, which is like the one which is used by Chrome and uh, most React Native apps. So like now you're gonna swap that uh, V8 with BAN, which is that it's a runtime. So because BAN has performance in mind and almost runs close to, to the edge, so you will see the speeds, you will see more improved speeds. So BAN will make your React Native apps faster. Currently, there's no implementation of React Native with BAN, but uh, it's something which is coming up. So what But what if you are writing TypeScript code? How does it work then? Uh, will BAN still work? Uh, the simple answer is yes, because you must remember that TypeScript, the way it works is that you have your TypeScript code. So that TypeScript code is then converted to TypeScript 
AST, which is the abstract syntax uh, tree. Then that AST is then passed by or checked by a type checker. So it checks your types. And then that uh, from there, the AST goes into JavaScript code. So it's essential, it's turned back to JavaScript code. And then the normal process happens again, which will by like your JavaScript code will turn into JavaScript AST, then AST to write code, and then byte code is evaluated by the runtime. So the only difference is that like it's being type checked, uh, but you still go through that uh, the runtime. So runtimes are so, sort of like so, sometimes they can be smashed together with something which is called an engine. So the engine is what we talked about, which is the V8, which is powering like Node and Chrome and Opera, Spider Monkey, Firefox. JavaScript code for Safari and Chakra for Edge. But then your JavaScript compilers and runtime seem to be smashed together to, to be that. So that's what Barn is replacing, that engine. Um, so we're looking forward to see an implementation of Barn in a React Native app. Please do like this video, subscribe, and put in the comments if you hyped about Ban and if you have to put React Native as well, and also just put in the comments as well if you want to see implementation of Ban in React Native. I'm gonna I can do a video for you. Cheers, y'all.